As we've been reading through 2 Samuel, we've been reading all about Absalom. Absalom, the third son of King David, who constantly undermined his father's rule. He set himself up as a judge, gave promises of what he would do if he were king, and even secretly arranged to have himself proclaimed as king. You know, Absalom did many other horrific, hurtful, even evil things in his prideful rebellion. And here in chapter 18, we read about a battle going for the throne. David made it clear that if Absalom were to be captured, he wanted him to be dealt gently with. Well, it's a fierce battle and many men die. And something interesting happens to Absalom. Let's pick up our reading in verse nine. During the battle, Absalom happened to come upon some of David's men. He tried to escape on his mule, but as he rode beneath the thick branches of a great tree, his hair got caught in the tree. His mule kept going and left him dangling in the air. Absalom is caught by his hair in a tree. And instead of following David's orders to deal gently with Absalom, Joab, David's commander, takes three daggers and plunge them into Absalom's heart. Now this ultimately quells the rebellion. Victory is assured for David, but David is heartbroken at the death of his son. You know, much has been said about David's neglect as a father to Absalom. And it's true, that parental responsibility, it's a lesson we can take from this account in scripture. But another thing we can say with certainty is that Absalom's self-promotion, it led to nothing. See, God foiled Absalom's plan to overthrow his father's kingdom. You know, nothing, not even the Absaloms of this world, can thwart the power of God to do as he wills. And today, I think a good lesson to be reminded of is this. Don't be a schemer, one who deceives or seeks to build yourself up by tearing another person down. As we read about today, that kind of living only leads to getting you hung up, not others. So instead, let me leave you with this encouragement. It's a Psalm from David, Psalm 37, three. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness.